Hey, it's Dallas here. Sorry for uh, posting a video and then not doing a video for like a series of weeks, but I had a lot of things going on. I had some health issues and start a new job and just a lot of things, a lot of moving parts. But anyways, I'm back. I'm going to try to do at least two videos a day. Hopefully this will get through the things. I also, if you go to my website, I'm trying to update the documentation there. So that will actually be updated before the video. So I'm doing the, the documentation before the video instead of doing the video and then never doing the documentation. So this video is going to be really short. It's really just to introduce you to the config file that you're going to be using to essentially configure the entire installation of Superset. And so I thought a good idea would be is to modify the loading animation and the logos and things like that to kind of get you started. So once you, you know, modify that file and then spin up um, Superset on Docker, you'll be able to see, visually see the changes that you made. And hopefully that will make you a little more comfortable in modifying the file so that moving forward, you can make these modifications and know that your modifications are working on the back end, even though you can see that in docker and the log files i just find that it's a little bit maybe it's just cooler to see your logo and your animation there so let me show you a few things i'm gonna change my screen here a little bit so if you're looking to get some icon files for your favicon you can come to this website called favicon.io you just throw in a logo click download and then it downloads the files that you need the other thing is if you want to if you have a logo or maybe you don't have a logo but you see this like image that you like you like the colors you can throw that in there to get your colors which will be used later when we start modifying the color profiles for superset so that when you visual when you do your visualizations you can have like a uh i forget what's called it's color scheme so you can modify your color scheme based off whatever colors you like there's also this thing called like adobe color wheel and this is super cool because you don't really have to think too much about it. You kind of just explore, if you will. You can type something in here, whatever you like, and it'll give you all the hex values that you need for that color scheme. The other thing is, if you're looking for like a more customized loading animation, the thing that I've used is this loading.io. You do have to create an account. So I would use some junk email because they're probably going to sell your email to some advertisers. But you can select, there's some free options here. And then you just customize the color to your liking, if you will. And then you just click download or you click GIF. You're going to want a GIF for this. You click GIF. If you're already logged in, I'll just go ahead and download that for you. So what we need to do, as you see here, I've already put my logo in here. And then I have a horizontal logo. Uh, and we're going to replace this GIF. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my files wherever they are and I'm going I think it's nope I lied to you guys it's right here so I'm just going to throw this in here and I'm going to click replace so now we have a loading animation so you want to make sure you have those in here for the sake of this tutorial I'm not going to go too much into the favicons but you can throw these in, in icons if you will I think they're somewhere down here uh, I'm not really sure where they are but you're going to want like an icon file and you can really place these anywhere you would like. I'm just going to kind of skip it because I don't really care about the favicon. Um, or it's right here. So you can replace that. But you're also going to want to do like the Android and the Apple icons if you expect to have mobile users. If you don't, then just replace the icon right here and you're fine. The file that we're going to be modifying is the superset config file. So this has not been edited at all. It's just the standards thing that we're going to do and I already have some code written here so I'm going to copy it I'm going to come over here and I like to place it kind of above the environment variable or like right below it and I'm going to change this to course bytes and then we have our logo here the favorite cons aren't going to work because I'm not putting them in but if you wanted to just throw them in the images where they are Sometimes this doesn't work to the greatest degree uh, when you when you build the build the image if you're building the image in Docker or you're trying to deploy it 
And the the reason behind it, I, I reached out to Apache and they said it should build like in production, but sometimes like in a dev environment, it just kind of skips over it for whatever reason. It's not like super important. So like if you update this and your favicons aren't updating, that's okay. It'll get updated in production. Just make sure that you have your files there and that they're named correctly. And again, for those who kind of missed it or looked over it, favicon.io, if you download that, it'll give you all of the files let me see if I can show you. So we'll go over here. It'll give you like all of the things that you need. The really the only ones that you need is the 16 and 32. And you're gonna throw it in here. You're gonna tell it it's an icon. You're gonna tell it where it lives. So this way when it builds the image, it'll know, say, hey, like we need some favicons right here. All right, so once we get this, you're pretty much good. To, you're, you're pretty much set. The only thing that I kind of wanted to make sure is that we have our images, we have lo logo. Now, if you wanted to keep the superset logo, you can throw in whatever the name you want. If you want it to say Course Bytes or you want it to say whatever, just make sure that up here you have that name correct. Otherwise, it's not going to work. The second thing is for the loading one, I don't really know where you change this. Maybe that it is somewhere, but I just... You're changing the, the thing, so you might as well just throw it in there. You could also make the name of your file superset or whatever it was before. I think it's down here, superset logo. Uh, yeah, if you did this, then it'll work fine. If you named it this, you just replace the image. It, it'll work exactly the same. I just kind of kept it because I have this option to like rename your thing and you'll get that image. So anyways, the next step is... Really, all we're going to do is do Docker Compose up, and we're going to wait a thousand minutes. And why did we not give it a configuration file not provided? That is because we're not in the right folder. And now, if we do Docker Compose up, if I spell it correctly, right? So that's going to pull the image, it's going to build it, it's going to take 50 years to do. So I'm going to pause the video, but I'll be right back. Also, for those who are following this video directly after watching the next one, you've probably already done this, which is totally fine. Um, I decided to kind of delete everything and restart. So for you, this will be a very short process. For those who are just starting with this video, it's going to be a long process. Uh, the reason I kind of started over is because I created a video like a month ago, and then I just picked back up for the reasons I said in the last video. So anyways... I'm going to pause this and I'll wait for all of this stuff to complete. So we're back. Uh, Superset completed its Webpack building. So you can see up here, we have our Course Bytes logo. I don't remember that. <laughs> I'm just going to say admin, admin. I think that's it. We're not going to change the password. We're going to see if we can log in. And we shouldn't have any data here, but at least you can see that this did work. And yeah, if we click World Bank data, we have our logo here. So our logo is working. So the visual changes that we made seem to be doing fine. I'm not expecting data to work here. I don't know what's going on. It never works. <laughs> it kind of works. It could also, it's still building database stuff. So like, I'm not too concerned. We do have some data loading. Um, but yeah, so our logo works. That's really the only thing I wanted to showcase in this video. The next video, we're going to like add some additional uh, modifiers so that we can get our celery. Uh, cancel all that. Everything I said just. just